Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and very good morning. Welcome back to the class. Well, today for the lesson we are going to learn something new, something interesting, but it also applies for reading and also writing. So please bear in your mind that since that we are going to have our assessment in week 5 and now it's week 2, so you have 3 more weeks to go. Now let's go into what you are supposed to learn and what you're supposed to use and test it in the assessment which is on reading and the topic for today is main idea and supporting details so what does it mean by main idea and supporting details right so main idea is actually the big point okay the big picture of what you are supposed to have in reading okay let's take this for an example let's say you are reading an article about road accidents in malaysia so what are you going to have there of course, it is about road accidents. You're not going to have something else about sports, okay? Because it tells you about road accidents, okay? Right, so can, can you have a look at this picture? What is the main idea shown by this picture? Yes, a man and a dog sitting on a bench. It is winter, snowy. They are wearing jacket and also a blanket. But can you see beneath or beyond the picture? Right, so what we can see over here, right, we can see that it is a sign of love or affection. Because why? Because the man is sitting on the bench with a dog sitting next to him, okay, and then he put a blanket and wrapped the dog in the blanket. Okay, right, it shows that they are in love. Not in love in the sense that relationship, but it is like the owner and the animal or the pet. Okay, let's move on to the next picture. Okay, so let's assume that this is the picture of uh, festival seasons. Okay, we can talk about highways in Malaysia, for example, LPT, and also plus highway. What you can see over here? Of course, we can see that it is congested with vehicles. Okay, mainly lorries and also cars. Yes, okay, people are going back to their hometown. Right, good. Okay, so we can see that from the picture, People are going back to the hometown. Or maybe in Malaysia, we can see that there is a roadblock ahead. That's why it is congested. Or there is an accident. People are keep looking at the accident. Maybe they are looking at something else. For example, Malaysian people, they like to look at the victim of the accident and such. Okay. okay. What, what if we look at the picture and then consider that uh, the road is congested with only cars? And it is a festival season. What we can say about the picture, the main idea of it. Right, we can say that they are afford to buy vehicle because everyone owns a car and then they are traveling back to their hometown from the city. So we can say that the main idea of the picture is actually people are afford to buy their own vehicle. Right, enough about pictures, let's move on to text. Okay, so let's have a look at this text. Let's read it together. Engineers create wealth for society. So, tennis is a game and the resources of the earth are scarce. Have you gone mad? Thus, the only solution is to educate the public on being socially responsible. So, can you get the main idea here? Where is the main idea? Can you? You can't, right? Because why? Let's have a look at this. Does it make sense? The paragraph. It doesn't make sense. Why? Because it is a compilation of many ideas. Okay, it doesn't have only one main idea. For example, it started with ingenious and then it goes to tennis game. Maybe we can see there is a relationship between ingenious and tennis game. Okay, but what happened about the resources of the earth? There is no relation at all. Okay, so we can say that from the paragraph over here, there is no main idea. Right? Okay, and then we will go crazy if texts were written like this all the time because we couldn't decide what is the main idea. Everything is jumbled out. Okay, and then it is difficult for us to understand what the author is trying to tell us. And fortunately, okay, the good news is that normal passages have main ideas. So for your test in week five, you're not going to have this kind of text. All right? It is going to be only reading comprehension text. Okay, and of course you can get the main idea. There will be two texts, text A and text B, and each of the text consists of 
10 questions each multiple choice questions okay a b c and d so you need to have you need to read carefully okay find the main idea and then look at the questions okay and then try to answer the questions based from the reading text simple okay let's move on to another example oh before another example let's have a detail about main idea so main idea is like the heart of the text or a paragraph so can i ask you do you have a heart of course you have what if you stab your heart you're going to die so the same goes in reading and also writing when you don't have main idea people couldn't understand what you are trying to say okay they are going to get confused right they are trying to find the main idea and they couldn't get it and they are going to be dissatisfied with the text and then they ignore the text so that is the reason why you need to have main idea for the reading and also for writing in this case we are concentrating only on reading okay so because why main idea is the controlling idea okay i'm sure you are familiar with um, mind map okay so mind map you need to have the central idea so the same goes with the main idea that is the central idea the controlling idea of all the other points okay whereby all points consisting all the supporting details okay let's have a look at the next example okay this is just an explanation more about uh, main idea what you are supposed to look for when you are looking for main idea in the text right so let's have a look at the topic sentence okay main idea uh, normally we can find it at the beginning of the uh, text which is in the introduction or into or in the introductory paragraph okay so at the end of the paragraph or the introduction you can find the main idea or we call it as the thesis statement right so thesis statement when we are going to elaborate it more it is going to be topic sentences okay let's have a look at the example given there right uh, homeless people have many problems in winter it is hard to stay warm and it gets too hot in summer it is also hard to keep things safe without a home. Worst is the lack of privacy. So where's the main idea there or the topic sentence? Of course, homeless people have many problems. So what kind of problems that they have? So it is in winter, it is hard for them to stay warm. It gets too cold or too hot in summer. Okay, and it is also hard to, uh, for them to keep the things safe without a home. And lastly, they don't have privacy so that are the problems being mentioned okay uh, or further elaborated so all the mentioned problems it is called supporting details okay because in the topic sentence or the main idea in the beginning we talk about there are many problems that happen to homeless people so what are the problems so we have the question of question of what is the problem so we are we have listed all the problems there so all the problems there, we call it as supporting details. Right. So we have talked about this thing. So the supporting details are the elaboration or explanation of the topic sentence. Right. Again, we have mentioned there, homeless people have many problems. So the question is, what are the problems? So when we listed all the problems, it is called supporting details. Okay, for your information, there are two types of main idea. Stated main idea and implied main idea. So what does it mean by stated main idea? Okay, stated main idea is that it is there. Okay, you can easily read it, right? And then you can easily identify it, right? Because it is stated. When you read it, it is there. For example, homeless people have many problems. So that is stated main idea. So what about implied main idea? Okay, implied main idea is like it is there but it is not there, right? So you have to read and you have to infer beyond the text, meaning that you have to read and understand the whole context and then you make your own inference based on what your understanding is, okay? For example, given here, so we have an excerpt given here. The students had fun on their field trip. They visited the marine museum. They were able to tour a tugboat and they bought souvenirs in the gift shop. After the tours, they ate at a picnic lunch in the park and played with their friends. So what is the main idea here? Of course, the students had fun on their field trip. It is stated main idea. So you read it, you get it. All right. So let's have a look at the example of implied main idea. Okay, again, the underlined portion there. 
right? It shows that it is a stated main idea because when you read it, you can easily identify it. Okay, the Native Americans used the trees to build their houses. They hunted and trapped animals in the forest for food. They found roots and berries that they could eat. Some plants found in the forest were used for medicine. So what is the main idea here? Can you guess it? Of course, it is not stated, it is implied. So the paragraph tells you about Native Americans and then what happened to them? Okay, they used all the resources in the forest okay, for them to survive. Okay, so we can say that the main idea of this paragraph is Native Americans use resources in the forest to survive because it tells about this particular tribe, Native Americans, and then what happened to them? They stay in the forest, and then what do they do to the forest? They find all the resources to help them to keep on living. All right, great. Okay, so this is a review on um, main idea. So what is main idea? You know by now, main idea is the controlling idea. Okay, how can you find the main idea? Normally, it is in the introductory paragraph. At the end of the first paragraph in a text, in the introduction, so you can find the thesis statement. And in the thesis statement, it contains the main idea. Okay, so what is meant by a stated main idea? It is there, clearly stated. You can easily read it and identify it. So it is called a stated main idea. How you can find it? Of course, by reading it. So what is meant by an implied main idea? So you have to read beyond the text. You read the text as a whole, and then you make your own assumption, or you make your own inference of your, based on your reading. Okay? And how can you find it? Of course, you have to read it at first, and then make your own conclusion or assumption. Okay, let's try this one. The rainforest is home to many creatures. Monkeys, toucans, and macaws live in the rainforest. Butterflies and anteaters also live in the rainforest. So what is the main idea here? Of course, it is a stated main idea. It is there. So the main idea is the, the line, the rainforest is home to many creatures. Right, great. Okay, so can I ask you a question? So what is anteaters in Malay? In Malay language, for example. So it is called tape, not tenggiling. Tenggiling in English, it is called almadilu just for your information. Right, let's try another one. Okay, soccer players learn many skills when playing soccer. Right, I believe most of you like this because I like soccer as well. So soccer players learn how to dribble and pass the ball. They also learn how to control the ball so they can eventually score. Most importantly, soccer players learn how to work together with their teammates. So what is the main idea here? So given here, there are three options, A, B, and C. So in A, they also learn how to control the ball so they can eventually score. B, soccer, player, soccer players learn how to dribble. And then C, soccer players learn many skills when playing soccer. So of course, the answer is C because it sums up the whole information from the text. So this is called an implied main idea. So maybe you're going to have this kind of question for the test. And the question is not only about soccer, for sure. Okay, let's do one more. Right, swimming is one thing that can be done at the beach. How many of you like swimming? Of course, okay? And especially when we go to the beaches, we like to swim. Okay, snorkeling is another thing that can be enjoyed. Playing beach volleyball can be a lot of fun. It is also fun to look for shells. Some people simply like to sunbathe. Okay, so what is the main idea here? Right, it is an implied main idea. So the implied main idea, we can assume that it is activities at the beach. Is it correct? Let's have a look at it. Yes, it is activities at the beach. Okay, so we can know by now how to look for stated main idea and how to look for implied main idea. Okay, um, fortunately, I can say that when you are referring to text, especially because you're going to have your assessment, um, the final assessment, which is called a term paper, right? You are going to read a longer text. Okay, when you read a longer text, okay, it is uh, good to know that each of the paragraph in the text, okay, let's say, for example, a typical essay should consist of five paragraphs, okay, introductory paragraph, three topic sentences, and then the concluding paragraph, okay, introduction, topic sentences, three of it, and then the conclusion. So each of the paragraphs, okay, in the typical essay, for example, 
should be related to each other. Right? The same goes when you are reading a longer text, let's say an article from a journal. So it is a longer text, maybe like 7 to 10 pages, and each of the paragraph should be related to one another. Right? It is not realistic, it is not um, going to happen that, let's say, in the middle of reading, when you are reading something on road accidents, okay, and then suddenly you're going to have something, a paragraph that tells you about sports. It is not relevant at all unless, okay, the sport is being played on the road. So we know that it is dangerous. So it may be contribute to road accidents, for example. All right. So again, as I have, as I have mentioned, again, in a longer text or a shorter text, you can find the main idea of the text by just looking at the, or just reading at the first paragraph, which is the introductory paragraph. Look at the last line of it. Normally, it consists of the thesis statement and it tells you more about the text. Right. Sometimes it is hard for you to look for the main idea by just reading the introduction or the introductory paragraph. So perhaps you can read the conclusion or the concluding paragraph where it sums up the whole thing. Okay. It rephrases the whole ideas, the main points given earlier. So you can choose either to read the introduction or the conclusion. But normally, okay, I will tell you in the introductory paragraph, you can easily get the main idea. So that is normally how authors put the main idea. Right. I think that's it for today. Um, so we are going to have exercises after this. If you have any question, okay, just raise your hand and that's it. All right. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.